Okay, everybody, it's me again, um, Maggie with Happy Scrapping Girl. So this is my um, next video haul. Uh, okay, so first of all, what I did was I ordered some stuff from Sizzix. Uh, I went into their clearance bin, and they had a, several things that were really, really um, good deal. And I think they've been there for a while, but I bought them anyway. <laughs> um, I got some Hello Kitty uh, Bigs dye, and these were only $2.99. And so I got this one, Hello Kitty. Just spells it out. And then I got, because I have a granddaughter and, you know. And then I got these, this one, I'm sorry. The wings, the little curly wings. And then I got this one, the Hello Kitty. And I thought $2.99, that is a deal. And then I got uh, the Sizzix Flower and Vine number two. I love the, t the flourishes, they're so cute. So I got that one. So that was at Sizzix, so I got those. Um... I love to order from um, Pink Scrappers Boutique with uh, Carleen, and um, anytime I do get an order in there, I'm so excited. I love the uh, the things that she has in her store. You guys need to go and check it out. I'll put her link down in this description bar. But first of all, I've had this for a while. Um, I have not done a haul or video for a while, so I've had this one for a while. I haven't used the papers yet, but I love it. And this is the Basil vintage marketplace and this is such beautiful paper I'm not gonna show it because I'm sure that you guys have all seen it but this is so so cute and I love the paper I'm like can't find myself to use it but I will so I got that one and then I got the pink paisley spring jubilee paper so I got that one very very pretty I got the bow bunny uh, this one's the Country Garden Collection, and I can just go through that really quick. I don't know. <clears throat> Very pretty paper. I love this paper. I love the uh, faded tone colors, the shabby chic vintage colors and designs and stuff, and flowers and butterflies, so that's my thing so I love that and then this one's the bow bunny the Gabrielle collection I also have this one in the 12 by 12 but it's the same thing so that's what that is and you guys have all seen that that's so pretty so I got that one I got the simple stories fabulous six by six um, yeah it doesn't say Maybe it is fabulous. I don't know. So this is this one. And I love this one because they you can cut them in half. You can use them as tags. They have, you know, different that borders. Excuse me. And so this is so pretty. So I got this one. Just going to go through it really fast because I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Um, I've got the Little Prom Prime Rose Kaiser Craft. I really like Kaiser Craft. Oh, that is so pretty. Do a little layout for my granddaughter when we have tea parties. <laughs> so there's that. Those are cute. Cut those out. Oh my god, those are so pretty. So there's that. And I got these at the boutique. She has so much over there and I love her paper. So I got that. This I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And this was um, I mean, the regular price is 4 Fourteen ninety nine. If you see that, and I bought it for five thirty nine. This is really nice. It's um, Ella Blue, this GCD, and these are very very pretty papers. Um, some of them are glittered, some of them are flocked, foiled, beautiful papers. And so I got this stack, and it's, I'm sure they've been there a while. And you guys have probably already seen it. Everything I have is probably old already, but it's new to me, and I love it. So I got that one. Very pretty. And I got the Londonary 8x8 paper stack from Prima. This one's really nice. I love those little cards on there and stuff. I'm kind of going into the uh, Eiffel Tower Parisian theme. I love that theme. It's very pretty. Um, I got these at Joann's, and these are like fabric type papers I don't know but, and they were only 25 cents and it's from the paper company I don't know what kind of paper they are but it feels so nice and so I just went and got several of those I thought those were really neat so I got some of those 
And then just regular um, shimmery paper. There were 10 cents, and so I just grabbed what was there. 10 cents each, so I got those two. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. And this is the Crate Paper Collection Pack. And this is the Restoration Collection. The original, the original price is $15.99, and I bought it for $5.75. It was on clearance, so I got this paper. Really nice, and they have like little die cuts and stuff, and these are the... Oh, sorry for the glare. Those are the die cuts that, that are in it. I like the little the little lamp and the little banner. Those are cute. So there's the die cuts that are in that. So I got that. I got this one that I've been wanting for a long time, and I finally got it. This one is um, Echo Park. Echo Park Be Mine Collection. This is so cute. These are the cutouts, and, you know, these are the, the different papers that are in it. And this was on clearance also. So I got this pack, and it was only $7.19 compared to $19.99. So I didn't pass up a deal. And then I got the Ella Blue and the 12x12 stack, too. And so this was only $7.19. So that's all the same papers, but 12 by 12 size, and this is very pretty. So I got that one. Okay, and these are a couple of other things that I got. I got this one at Michael's, a Spellbinders uh, Fancy Tags 2. I've already used it on my mini that I did. I used this one right here for the mirror. Oop. This one right here, I just kind of paint that in and made it look like a mirror. So I did that, I got that one. And then I got this at... Um, uh, Michael's and Modesto. I thought this was so pretty. I love the couch. And so I got this really cute stamp set. And then I got this one. Um, I A while back I did a video on my uh, Graphic 45 debutante collection. And I still have the paper. I haven't used it. But this stamp set is for, for, for that. So I seen that there and I just had to have it. So I got this stamp set. Sorry for the glare, guys. I know it's pretty glary. So like that. Yeah, there you go. So I got that. And then I just got these at Michael's because they were 49 cents and they're little felt buttons. Okay, and then I got these in Modesto at the Michael's over there. And I like to buy these pieces because I like to make molds out of them so that I can make more. So that's what I got this one for. I'm going to make molds out of them. Oh no, and then my phone had to go off. Okay guys, I'll have to come back. Okay, everybody, so this is my um, stamp that I bought from Michaels, and it's the Paris Eiffel Tower stamp. I'm so excited. I love this stamp. So I got that. And then I got a couple of um, frames. So I got this one. So cute. I got two of those. And then I got this one. And then I got that one. And then I got that one. And that and that one. There you go. So I got those. I love frames. They're so cute. And then I got this, which I'm sure everybody's seen at Michael's on clearance for $2.99. So I got some of these. Because I got a couple of other color ones, so I got this one. And then I got these little... Um, for hot, for your hot glue gun, little finger, thing, uh, little finger covers. So I got those. Thought that was a good idea. Oh, I had another frame in there. So I got that frame. And then I got these, which were only forty nine cents, and they're just little stencils. So I got some stencils right there. Those are cute. Forty nine cents. Yeah, they are. Forty nine cents. Okay. And this was on clearance at Michaels for three ninety nine. I think it was. From Tim Holtz, and I love Tim Holtz, so I got that. You can see it, there it is right there. I got that one. And then I got um, some of these peel-off um, stickers. This one I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this one I got from Michaels, but they're so cute. Little corners, and this one's like little dragonflies. I thought they were cute. I can't wait to use them. I want to see what they look like. Okay, and then I just, I got this because it was like a little ribbon buckle, like a little buckle thing for 50 cents at Joann's. So I got that. And then I got, um, these go to the back of the earrings, um, the little things that go on back of the earrings. I bought these for my stick pins. I am trying so hard to find the little covers to the bottom of your stick pin so that they don't, somebody doesn't get 
um, stick with the pen and I think that maybe I'll just try and use these if anybody knows where I can get the bottom of the stick pins at let me know because I am looking for them and I want to buy them so here's that I got that for now and these were just on sale for a dollar 75 I think or something and this is elegant finish metallic paint from deco art for home decorating so I'm gonna try these out. I don't know how how they work but I want to use them on my um, my molds when I do pol the polymer clay and I make molds to paint so I'm gonna use some of these and then see maybe if I can make my own little shimmer shimmer mist too so and I got this one the um, gold color I guess and that one's the silver and the gold and then this one is this one's a glaze, more of a copper looking color. So I got that one. And let's see what else did I get. And that is it. That's all I got. Okay, so um, I am waiting for my ladies' diary paper to come in. Um, I should be getting it by Friday or Saturday. I know you guys have probably seen it, but I'm going to show it when I get it in on a video. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love Victorian and old things, and so... When I get it in, I will do a video so that I can show you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.